message is simple and to the point. Stop the gun violence. Stop the killing. Tonight, a community fed up with young people dying is trying to turn the tide. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live in St. Petersburg tonight. Good evening, Peter. Good evening, Stacey. As we quickly get to the beginning of the new year, neighbors who met tonight want to start with a new resolution, and that is stop the killing of young people committed by criminals. The mood is festive at the Genesis Worship Center in Gulfport. But the reason for this gathering stems from a sober statistic. 14 murders in the neighboring city of St. Petersburg, with seven of those in the past two months, with those victims all being under the age of 25. It's definitely not getting better because we're here. Denise Swisher knows the pain of losing a child. Her son, who went by Peanut, died in gunfire in 2006. The worst thing a mother can get is the news of her child being killed, and I don't want no other mother to experience that. The reason for this gathering, to try to grasp solutions to the relentless violence. The sponsor, a mortuary whose employees know firsthand the toll the gun violence is having on the community. I see the families suffering, the families are broken, they're torn to pieces, and whatever we can do, we need to come together and heal the community. A St. Petersburg police officer told the crowd the community must work together to end the killings. The Gulfport police chief agrees and adds young people prone to violence need guidance, sometimes not provided at home. I think they need to do everything they, com they can to support community programs, that are designed to give these kids something to do. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's number one. But police agencies depend on tips to solve crimes. People need to be, uh, they have a responsibility to tell us what they know. And being at this event tonight, I really got the sense that a lot of people are extremely frustrated by this latest wave of violence. And I talked to that mother who lost a child, putting her finger on exactly how to stop it. She isn't sure either. Stacy. You know, Peter, I saw the Gulfport police chief mentioning offering young people things to do. What, what kind of things do you think he's suggesting? He thinks like the Boys Club and Little League. People who are involved with those kinds of activities have much less of a likelihood of getting into trouble. So we'd like to see more of that. Makes perfect sense. Good information. Yep. Thank you, Peter Bernard, live sure. in St. Pete.